My name's Tim Marchmax. I'm a Professor of Management and Associate Dean for Research in the School of Business Law and Entrepreneurship at St. Ben University of Technology. I'm also the Pro Vice Chancellor for Research Integrity, which is a cross-university role. So the main focus of my research on technological innovation in the media industry has been the impact of that innovation on workplace relations and also on media, media content. So through that work I've adopted a number of different approaches. I've adopted a case study approach looking in depth at particular organisations. I've also undertaken survey based research and the central question I'm interested in is how do power dynamics within organisational contexts influence the way in which technological change is managed and the impacts of that technological change. With that research I'm also interested in how the broader social context, the laws in place, the policy context, the broader media market, how all well those factors also impact and have an influence on what goes on within the organisational context. So two or three key motivations for me to explore this particular area. One, you know, at a very broad level, is around the sort of society that we live in. There's a number of debates arguing that we live in a society in which information and knowledge are more and more important. So for me a really interesting set of questions emerge around who are the producers of that knowledge and information and what power and influence do they have. But for me the media industry and the media organisations are key sites for the production of information and the production of knowledge. So I think it's important to think about how they, how they produce that knowledge. So you know, two or three key findings have emerged from my research. One is that technological innovation has been used by many media companies as a way to reduce costs one of the ways in which they've done that is by downsizing, by laying off their, their, their staff. So some of my early research was around the print workforce in the media and the newspaper industry. And one of the strategies that news organisations used was to use introduction of new technology to reduce their dependence on the print workforce. More recent research I've looked at the role of journalists in, in media organisations and news organisations. And again, in some context, news organisations have used technological innovation as a means to reduce the size of the journalist workforce, to outsource some of that work, thereby reducing their, their costs. At the same time though, there have also been some, some variations and some opportunities that have arisen. Some organisations have used it as a means to retrain, reskill their workforce into new roles enabled by the new technology. I mean, in other cases, people have been displaced by the process of technological innovation have been able to go on and develop their own careers, maybe in the same industry, in the same context, but using online content, or working in different different industry contexts, but using the same sense of skills. So there's not a one one size fits all narrative that emerges, but a range of different uh, narratives. Another another key finding is that when we're looking at organisational contexts, it's very important that we look at the broader societal, political, and economic context of so the organisations and the decisions that they make aren't occurring in a vacuum or in isolation. They're influenced by the reg regulations in place, by the laws in place, by what their competitors in other media organisations are doing. So the key overall finding my research is that to understand what's going on in specific workplace contexts, we need to understand the broader societal, political and economic context in which those organisations are operating. So the future tra trajectory of the media industry in the context of technological innovation it's going to be continue to be one of disruption and responding and trying to proactively engage with that with that disruption. As we've seen throughout history, the media industry has been subject to disruption from the development of the printing press through to mass production, through to the current context. So I think a couple of the big trends that we will see that are already existing but will continue to continue to emerge are one, an increasing complexity of the media market, we'll have the legacy media organizations, we'll have the big tech players and their offshoots continue important in the news media role and we'll see continue to see a proliferation of much smaller voices, much smaller organisations, either individual or small groups of people. And I think one of the really interesting issues to be observing in the coming years will be how those relationships play out, um, who ends up being successful, who ends up existing for a while but then possibly um, moves on or, or don't, isn't, isn't successful to the, to the same um, extent. I think we'll also see within the, within the media industry technology being used for, for a variety of purposes and one of the clearly big challenges at the moment is that the media industry is using artificial intelligence and the potential that has both for positive impacts in terms of journalism in the news context but also for the challenges that it raises in terms of what is what is journalistic work, what constitutes new knowledge and what, what are the challenges that artificial intelligence provides as well.